How's it going everybody? Monday morning and we are heading to the zoo. So today is the perfect day to go. It's gonna be like high 60s, low 70s. Um, we're excited, the girls are excited. We told them last night we were going and they are all excited about all the animals that we're gonna to get to see today. So, we'll be bringing you guys along with us. Hopefully uh, we'll have a good time. It won't be too crazy out there. I know it's gonna be kind of a longer day for them, but we'll just see what happens. Hopefully they can I think that the excitement will hopefully kind of take over their tiredness whenever it's like nap time and stuff or they'll fall asleep and stroll or whatever. So we're going to make it work. It's going to be a good day. See you later. I have no idea what I recorded because I was talking and vlogging and then I looked at the camera and it was off. So let's try again. Okay, so we are at Sheets right now. John ran in to take title of the bathroom. Um, I just actually got our coffee and our food. We love this place. If you're not on the East Coast or you've never heard of Sheets and you ever come to a place where there is Sheets, go. Yeah, it's like an hour and 45 minutes to the zoo. We're about an hour later getting out, getting started than I wanted to be, so that's kind of a bummer. But, um, Hopefully we'll still get there and the animals will still be out and we'll have a good time. If you've ever seen Molly, there's a part where he finds a bra and he like puts it up over his eyes like they get stuck, he thinks they're goggles or something, I don't know. But anyway, Tyler's reaction to it parts him every time. So I just rewound it so that you guys can see. Ready to watch! Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> That's funny, Tyler. <sighs> Danielle's wearing Adeline. Yeah, but don't worry, guys. I brought the Solly baby wrap in case John wants to wear her. The monkeys. We also brought the Lilla baby. The monkeys carrier. might get confused. They might think that's one of their monkeys. We might. We all the monkeys are going to get upset when they see you. They're going to think we took one of their little baby monkeys. Are you excited? Yeah. What's your what animal do you want to see the most? A horsey. A horsey. Snakes. Snakes. What is wrong with these kids? Yeah. What animal do you want to see the most? Uh, maybe some monkeys. That's Judy, what animal do you want to see the most? The horse. The horse? Are you kidding me? Y'all gotta you gotta branch out a little bit, guys. Let's get a little bit more creative. Do you see any floating in the water? No. There they are. There is this stinking alligator. Those are not real alligators. Yeah, they are, buddy. They, are they will not. bite you. There's an alligator snapping turtle. That thing will take off Yikes. your hands. Yikes! Oh, look at those fishies. Thank you for bringing Judy back to us. Come on, Jude, stay with us, okay? We don't want you to get lost. Are oh, you guys gonna hold hands? That's sweet. It's a seal, a sea lion. Look, see, they're swimming. Hey, we're going under. <gasps> Look, girls. Look. Whoa. Look, he's looking at you. Please look at as well. Wow. Say hi, can you wave at him? What do you think, Judy? Judy, can you wave at him? Sleeping sound. Look, 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 Lena! That's a baby bear! Look at 
a baby! What do you think, Judy? Look! Oh, he's gonna kiss ya! Look! This bear keeps doing the same exact lap. It's like either it's trained or it's psycho. Or it's a person in a bear costume. Because it literally comes and walks along the whole glass, make sure to look at the people. Right there, stay there! Facing. What do you think? Do you guys see the bears back there? There's two. You guys, look at that cool dad. Look at that cool dad. Come on, Lena, hold my hand. Yeah, watch out, you're gonna get stepped on. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bend over and walk so that Tyler can take a nap. Is that what she wants? <laughs> I mean, I said, do you want me to? She said, yeah. So we got one tired kid, but I will say that um, Tyler's been walking the whole time where Elena's taking turns riding. I was carrying Adeline, but now she's stretching out. Elena, this way, buddy. See? Elena. Whee! Look at her. <laughs> she's hanging out. So anyway, Adeline is having fun in her, she just ate and so she's riding in the stroller now, just blowing bubbles. Elena is taking her time. Come on, let's go see the bison. <gasps> Do you know what a bison is? Let me just show you, it's really, really big. Pick you up, please. Okay, so I guess I don't actually get a break from carrying the baby. Now I got a bigger one. Do you see him, Elena? The bison? So anyway, John and I had a little disagreement earlier. I was feeding Adeline and I was covered up. But a lady decided to stop and let me know that there are two different places where I can go in a private room and feed her. And he said that she was just being nice. And I said, I didn't say that. I said, he said she could just be being nice. Nothing about what she said was rude or disrespectful. She wasn't rude. She wasn't rude about it. She was very polite in so the way she, she said it. She could have been. I'm not saying she was. She could have been being nice. No, don't defend it to you. you just we just went Why? head to head on this for a little bit. Don't act like you're don't flip flop now. I'm anyway, not the and flop. I was like, well, it's just hard because being in that position already, where I'm trying to be modest and like high, you know, like there's no. Bite. I'm not just whatever. Beep, mommy, beep, Try to be modest mommy. about it, um, and just the fact that she had to say something at all about it is like, you know, it's hard. I don't mind. I just told her, well, she was hungry now, so you know, I, it's it's kind of far to walk somewhere else with them four kids just to go feed your baby instead of being able to feel comfortable comfortable anyway has I have has that ever happened to any of you have you guys ever had an experience like that like I said she wasn't rude about it but it's still like okay thank you you know I'm perfectly content I'm not like upset or struggling and to be honest when she approached me I was already done feeding Adeline I was handing her to John and like putting my stuff back together she came up she's like oh I, I was gonna tell you like how long have you been thinking about that because uh, you don't really need to let me know that, but thank you. Okay, the worst thing ever in the whole world that has ever happened to us just happened. Elena, do you want to tell everybody in the world what you just did? Oh, sorry. Do you want to tell everyone what you just did? No, are you embarrassed? She said no, sorry, she's embarrassed. She touched the back of the toilet, and then when I looked, there was poop there. She touched somebody else's poop in the public toilet. Oh my God. She wiped on her shirt, but there's nothing on her shirt. But I took her shirt off anyway, so now she's just wearing a sweater. She looks a little like. Okay, it's too funny. I heard screaming going on in there. I didn't know what it was. Okay, now I know. I'm about to buy her a shirt from the gift shop. Everybody, this is good, and we are having a happy day. And hold that. Hold it back. This is the best part. That's okay. We are going to see the bears and then the wolves and then the desert. We oh, see right. we see all the animals today and then we're gonna see a few more animals. Back up a little, you're too close. Yeah, we're gonna see what else are we gonna see? <gasps> There's a bear, let's go see it. Come on. Oh my goodness, Elena, look. Sorry. I left just so eat poop. You did what? I can't tell my poop. Yeah you did, yeah you did. Alright, come on, we gotta go to the next thing. The polar bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's tell them we're gonna go see wolves. Go ahead, tell them that. Okay. Wolves. Okay. All right, guys. We Good day. So what are you doing? Here. Oh, what's happening there? Well, it would not be a day trip with four kids under five if there weren't some meltdowns. Um, we've just faced a monumental meltdown with Elena. It's probably been going about 20 minutes now. She's finally quieted down. She's got some water. Jude is out. Passed out, so tired. 
sleeping soundly. Adeline's up hanging out with me. Hey, Katie. You hanging out? She's weeping. John took Tyler to ride on a C A R O U S E L um, while I was dealing I with this over here. C -E -L. You what? I want to ride C C L. On a C C L. Okay, well listen, Daddy's a little upset. He's about ready to leave because he's a little bit frustrated right now. I'm trying to maintain my cool and understand that they are tired. Um, they've missed naps, and so it's setting them up for failure in a way, you know, so we just, I'm just trying to practice extra, extra, extra grace and patience because they're so tired. I know she's not trying to act like this. Although Tyler is. Mom, get on, baby. Body. Yeah, Tyler is also tired and not acting like this, but she's a little older. So I think John's having trouble understanding that um, 15 months between them makes a big difference in how they handle being tired or emotional. We got Junior Explorers. Excuse me, Daddy. Wow, so cool, so cool. Thank you. What did you just say? Hold on, what did you say to Daddy? Sorry for being grumpy. Did you say thank you? Guys, there's a birdie. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Tyler, this is sweet. All right, guys, we're headed into Africa. Here we go to the forest glade to see the gorillas. Got the gorillas here. These kids are over there. They got their binoculars, still so looking at them. There. Oh, a, oh, look at this. Tyler, stop. Let go. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, they're fighting. That's a bad I know. I know. I. Look at this guy. <laughs> Tyler, this Look at this around. baby over here. He's acting just like you, Tyler. Hey, two, <laughs> Look at him. Hi, big monkey. Why that? Whoa. Why did that monkey knock over his It's going to be gentle. Don't bang on it. Why? I left Judy over there, by the way. Why? Oh, my goodness. Funny face, no. Elena? Yeah. No. No, what doing? These kids are ready to see some more animals. You ready to see some more animals? Mm -hmm. What do you want to see? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. There's a giraffe coming out all the way in the distance. So. Sorry it's so shaky, but our uh, other camera died. Our kids are over here chasing squirrels. We're trying to go see lions. We're trying to go see giraffes. We're trying to go see rhinoceroses. No, our kids want to play with squirrels. Oh, zebras are over here. Let's go see them. There's giraffes and zebras. Yay! I see a zebra. I know, they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah, a zebra, a giraffe, a giraffe. Whoa. Did you get your monkey? She looked at it and was like, what? And then just hugged it. Aww, we got Judy's monkey. She didn't know we got it. She was sleeping, but I wanted to pick something for her too. Yeah. Look. You love it. Look. Watch, mommy can hug you. So we're wrapping up our day here at the zoo. Uh, it's about time for the place to close, but what a great view to do it with the giraffes in the background here. Um, Danielle was saying they're such majestic-looking creatures, and they really are. Uh, so hopefully we'll catch a little bit of lions before we leave. She kissed her on the forehead and then said, Mommy sweet. gave you that monkey when you were sleeping. You're a sweet girl, buddy. Alright, so we need to get out of here. Let's go see if we can get the lions.
Oh, look at that! Where is it? There it is! Oh my god, us! That thing's huge, it's awesome. So cool. So cool that we can do this, have a place to go and actually, you know, check out these animals like this. We don't get to see them ever, you know? I think a lot of the animals couldn't, like, a lot of times I feel like there's something going on with the animal that they can't thrive in the wild. But regardless, it is nice to be able to show our kids these animals they would never see otherwise. To get them to really understand the size and magnitude and majesty of the animals God created. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, Hakuna Matatas, that's right. I don't want to know how you do it with four girls. I don't know. A five to one. I know. At this point, I'm not. I still haven't figured it out. That's right. Yeah. Cool. See the lions? What does the lion say, Wesley? I think we're about to have to make a walk. A long walk. We caught the bus. Thank goodness. Alright guys, so we made it. We're heading to the van. We had a good day here at the zoo. We're thankful we made the bus. Got to see most of the animals, I think. So, um, I think we only didn't see the elephants and the birds. All right, guys. Well, we're heading home. We finally made it back to the car. The shuttle picked us up, which was I'm great. I'm really glad we didn't start walking. Yeah, I know. I was about ready to. I literally was saying, as he was, we saw him. I was like, well, it looks right. like he's not coming. And then we saw him. So I was like, okay, well, it looks like he is coming. Anyway, so we're heading home. We had a fun time. It was some stressful parts. The kids weren't all always good. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good one. We love you guys. Pray for us that the kids will sleep tonight. Oh, my goodness. And that they won't wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I got a feeling it's going to be a crazy sleeping time. So. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Good night. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button to follow along with the Murrays. Subscribe.